So, it's uh, been raining outside, and temperature is dropping into the 50s, mid 50s, low 50s right now, potentially going down to 50, 52 tonight. I wasn't going to paint because it's cold and wet, but then um, decided because I need to try to get this done, you know, I'm trying to get things done, uh, hopefully... By this weekend, I hope to have the walls painted. That means I got to do the ceiling and the walls during this week <laughs> because I want to get it done by the weekend. So I started painting. I, I looked up, you know, um, ideal painting temperatures, and it says between 50 to 90 degrees for painting. If it's hotter than 90, it might dry out a little too fast. If it's lower than 50, the paint might not want to stick. So I, I brought the space heater from my bedroom out here to heat up and try to heat up the room while I'm working in here. And also discovered a new channel that's pretty neat. Uh, this is channel um, I Jessup, I-J-E-S-S-U-P. Apparently she bought a house that, um, well, check out her channel. <laughs> I, think, I think that house blew up her channel, but... Um, Basically, she bought some property and a house that was um, in similar condition to this one. And that, that's all I will say. And she is um, currently renovating that. I think she's been working on it over a year now. But anyhow, um, I had that, had that running while I was working. And I was going to film, but then said, you know, it's pretty boring. I'm just painting. People are just going to watch me paint. <laughs> I don't think anyone wants to sit there and just watch me paint. Uh, but anyhow, it was pouring rain, and then I noticed the wet spot. So I was like, hmm. I remember the wet spot here, but it's kind of shifting it. I don't see it here. But now the wet spot's over here. And then I noticed a bunch more wet spots. So, of course, the first thing I did was look up at the ceiling. I was like, where's the dang water coming from? There's no water coming from the ceiling. But the floor is wet. Remember, I, I, I had mentioned this hole right here, thinking that, you know, they repaired the, the leak up above, and I went and double repaired it. And I have never seen water kind of dripping down from here since the repairs. But I always noticed a wet spot down here, which there isn't for some weird reason today. But over here, where there weren't wet spots, and I know they're wet because I touch it, and it's wet. <laughs> so, we have a leak. I think somehow the water, when it rains, must be hitting the building and running down somehow either the side or inside the walls. I hope not inside the walls because, you know, we had it all ripped apart. And as far as I know, I sealed all the holes. You know, before I, I put all that together, I put silicon into the holes and stuff. So I'm assuming it must be running down the, the side of the house and somehow running along a beam or something. But I don't know how it's running up. Water would go down by gravity, not up. But somehow, uh, it's getting wet. So, this is a puzzle. Somehow the water is dripping down the side of the building and then it's got to be hitting the frame. It's got to be going down and hitting the beams that are out there, you know, underneath the house and then running alongside and then soaking up, which is really bad. So I got to figure out where the water's coming from. And this is going to be difficult. If it was a ceiling, you, you know, you can kind of look for the leak on the ceiling, but it's coming up from the floor. And I know it isn't for me using the pipes because, um, you know, I've used the pipes. I, I mean, I've showered and used the toilet and stuff, and it didn't do this. So I hope it's not. <laughs> Remember I told you I had plumbing issues, and I was pumping it really hard with the, um, the toilet plunger? I hope I didn't pop some uh, holes in the pipe, and it's squirting up. But really... This didn't occur, you know, until now when it rained. So I'm assuming somehow, I don't know, if you guys have any clue what's causing this, let me know. Because this, this is puzzling me. 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out. It's like, how can water come up from the bottom? That's not normal. Water goes down by gravity. So the fact that it's up, it's either squirting up, which it did in the RV because there was a busted hose. Remember that in the bathroom, there was a busted hose that was squirting water up, up at the floor until there was a hole and it was soaking the floor. So maybe a busted pipe, which is gonna suck. Actually, I would prefer it to be a busted pipe because then I know what it is. But that means I'm probably gonna have to crawl up underneath there and I'm not gonna do it tonight, today. It's almost night, um, but I'm gonna have to try to clean up the underneath you know, because I don't want to crawl under there the way it is right now. And figure out if it's a busted pipe with several holes. But I don't think so. Because, or maybe it was and I just didn't notice. But I could swear that I did not see this before. I guess one way to find out is um, when it's not raining and this is dried out. Go take my shower, flush the toilet, do all the normal stuff. Then come out here and see if it's flooded. I mean, if it's like soaking up and if it's only doing it when it's rainstorm, then definitely water is somehow coming down and then going up from the floor, which is uh, a mystery to me. Also, something happened here that's making me debate what I want to do. So I was up here, you know, um, trying to fill in holes and stuff, you know, putting in caulking and, and other stuff to, to fill in the little cracks because I was getting ready to paint. And I was pushing this, and then suddenly I heard a clunk, and then I felt something drop. <laughs> so you'll notice this is like going in a little bit when I push down. Evidently, there's a frame behind this wall, probably right here where I'm pushing, and it isn't there anymore. Remember I told you stuff was like half rotted and whatnot? So... I may have to rip this wall open. I might just say, um, screw it. And just don't anyone lean on this wall. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's real. See how it's really loose here? There's nothing holding it at all. But over here, it's solid. It's solid here. And it's solid here. But right here, where I heard something go clunk and fall down, the wall is really loose. So I may have to rip, even though I don't want to, really don't want to. I may have to get more insulation. May have to rip that panel. Maybe all of it. It's like, heck, I've done the whole house at this point. <laughs> but that means I'll be delayed again. So I don't know. I'm gonna consult with the wife and see what she says. But yeah, I mean, the, that panel looks pretty bad, you know. So it could be replaced. So it's not like we're replacing something that didn't need to. It should be replaced. It's just then I have to go buy another panel and maybe cut it again into two pieces, like we did over here. As you can see, I've um, tried to, it looks like a Frankenstein wall panel. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's what's going on. I, I've been painting the ceiling using flat white paint. I've got it. You can see here on this hand, I, I got it arm. I got it all over me. Probably should have worn something. But I was planning on taking a shower, so maybe I'll go take a shower and I see if they, it's even more wet here. Then that'll be my answer. <laughs> if I cut, take a shower, take a nice long shower, and come out here and there's a swimming pool out here, then we know. <laughs> we know. Of course, it's still raining, so maybe it is from the rain. I don't know. But yeah, I've been um, just kind of painting. This is going to... With, with the floor not being wet anymore here and um, the hole apparently dry, I don't really see any water coming in, you know? Uh, the assumption will be that this leak has been fixed from above. So I'm going to um, probably uh, seal this hole up, try to patch that hole and close it out. But I've got to definitely figure out the, the leaks coming from the bottom. That's weird. It's like an anti-gravity house. So that's what's going on. Um, yeah, I was hoping I was hoping it'd be dry, but then you know I, I was gonna I was gonna not paint today, 
But then I looked at the, the weather forecast, and it's going to be wet pretty much all week. And the temperature uh, tomorrow will be roughly in the 50s to the 60s. And I'm like, well, it's in the 50s now. I might as well go ahead and paint because if I don't do it, I'm delayed by a week or more because of the, uh, the temperature, you know, being and the rain. The rain's going to be here, I guess, all week. So, or at least for the next couple days. So I'm going to go ahead and do it in the rain. Um, having a space heater here might help the room a little bit. I may leave it out here while I'm out here working. And um, hopefully, hopefully... I can figure out this leak because if I can't figure it out, we got a, a, it's kind of a, I know it looks little, but it's kind of a big problem. <laughs> you, you, you get a leak, you got to fix it. You know, that's how all these walls, remember, remember all the panels that were all rotted? This is kind of sturdy. I mean, it's a little bit soft here, but I'm not going to bust through. But all, all the patching that I did, you know, all these pieces that I put in, and it looks like somebody else patched another. So water must be running down and then coming up from underneath. I don't know how it's doing it, but it may be leaking onto a support beam and running. But, you know, I don't have the wall ripped open right now, so I can't see it. Now, when we did rip it open, this section here had all rotted walls. I mean, um, framework. And the floor, where was it? Over here was rotted. So we know water got in there, but I, I was assuming it was coming in from the window. But I don't know, you know. I'm going to have to crawl under there. And then I'm probably going to have to crawl under there when it's raining. Yeah. To figure out if I can see the water running down there and what's getting wet. That's a problem. I mean, that's, that's not a problem, but that's, that's how I'm going to have to determine it. So one of these rainy days, after I clean out the bottom and clear it out, I'm going to crawl up underneath there and figure out how, how the floor is getting wet. It's really a mystery to me. Uh, I'm going to take a moment here to read your, your comments here. Uh, D.L. Robertson says, your skills are being tested, and without that, you will succeed. And don't be disappointed. Keep up the, keep up the great work. Thank you, um, D.L. Mang says, you fix from the outside inward. Water damage is the worst kind to find and fix. Yeah. I think that's what damaged everything in here was water. The the framing, you know, somehow the, the, the walls were all wet. And if I didn't fix it, you know, if I, if I didn't patch all the holes, then all this stuff that I put in is going to rot out again because that's where the water was collecting. Now, I had, um, I went through and I tried to make sure that the panels were all in. And any holes, I don't know if you can see, I put like silicon on it. I tried to fill all the holes with silicon as best as I could, you know, the ones that I could find. But at this point right now, you know, you know that water flows down. It's going to be very rare that water flows up. But if it hits wood, if it hits wood or cloth or something permeable, Capillary action will kick in. Hey, science is coming into effect here. <laughs> Capillary action will kick in and suck the water up to spread it out. So that could be happening. But, you know, what's interesting about it is this. Look, look, new spots. I think since we started filming, there's two more. And I know I'm not in the shower right now. So the water, there is definitely a pattern. So there's a big spot here. And two more here. That tells me this is the primary. So we're, we're playing, we're playing Denoy, Denoy Holmes, <laughs> kind of like Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, the, the, it started here. So we know it started right here, and I'm filming this so I remember. It's starting right here by the middle, the middle window joint. Okay, the middle frame here and the back window straight out approximately two, three, four, five, five feet, four, four or five feet in. So this is the where the water is collecting initially and then sucking up to the floor. Then it's continuing down here. So there's beams. There's other beams down there because look, it came out. It made two big ones here. Then it made two more. 
Now, that is something I have to deal with. I'm definitely going to have to go under there in the rain. This is going to suck. Hmm. The potential good thing is it rains a lot in Florida. <laughs> so, you know, um, this is going to have to be a, a priority, too. This is one of those things that the longer you wait, the more damage it does. Now, luckily, luckily, the floor here doesn't look damaged. Okay? That means it either happens rarely or I just created the situation. By fixing the walls, and I might have moved things around, so, in, and so instead of water going down into the spots where it went previously, ruining those areas, it found a new, a new path. You know, water will find the path of least resistance. And since I've been doing repairs inside and outside and plugging holes, water is moving to a new route the water that's running down. Now, if it's coming from the roof, I got to figure out how I'm going to handle that. Now, I, I got to figure out how it's getting underneath the house. That's very abnormal. Let's see here. Well, Banks, says once the roof and outside walls are well sealed, then you start to fix the inside. I tend to do things backwards, the RV and now the house. Yeah, it's because I didn't want to rip everything apart. You know, the, the correct way to do it would be to um, reframe. I mean, when we could see how the da damage the house was and the wet spots, you'd want to rip every single wall apart and then look outside and then patch all the holes and everything. But the problem is uh, the whole house, it, it's not worth fixing. You know, it would have been, um, I wouldn't have had a place to live for one. For two, it would be more expensive, I think, to fix this one, then scrap it, and then um, buy a used or even maybe save up for a new unit. But, you know, saving up for a new unit would make it so I wouldn't be able to travel and do all that stuff. Getting a used unit, potential problem also. Now, I found out also, um, looking at m how moving houses and stuff, uh, I don't think you're allowed to move a house that's over 20 years old. I think you have to, I was reading that there's like rules and stuff about how old a house can be, especially when in poor shape, I guess, because, you know, if you try to transport it, it'll fall apart on the road. <laughs> so, yeah, this is, this is another problem. So it, this is a head scratcher for sure. And uh, I'll be keeping an eye on it. And then, um, this sucks. One potential thing I could do, which I'm not really looking forward to, but you know what, I'm gonna mark it. Let me try to find a pen, pencil. Here we go. We're gonna mark the wet spots, which is probably a smart idea. Not that I'm a smart guy, but we're gonna mark the wet spots. The reason for this, potentially, I may have to cut this floor to look. I'm marking the wet spot. Hopefully we can see it. It's hard to see here, but I'll know there's a wet spot there and a wet spot here. And a wet spot here. And a wet spot here. This is on paper. And there might even be a new wet spot. I don't know if that's a new wet spot, but there's another wet spot here. The reason for doing all this is, oops, phone's like tripping out here. The reason for marking this, I might end up exploring by drilling a hole. I may drill a hole to look down there. I'm willing to bet that right beneath here is a beam. You know? Or if it's not a beam, then it's hitting the beam and then running along and then hitting this section and then coming up for some weird reason. This this area, this spot, is super porous or something. Capillary action is kicking in. But usually where it's coming up the wettest, that's where the water is hitting the most. So it's sitting there like there must be a puddle there <laughs> underneath here. There's like a puddle underneath here soaking up through the floor. This, this is a pain. This sucks. 
I, I know trying to find it in the RV was really difficult. You know, we ended up ripping up the, the back wall in the bathtub area. And then um, the only way we could really tell was we heard the water going and then realized it was coming from behind the wall where the bathtub was and ripped apart that wall and saw all the wet wood and ripped apart the wood and saw the wet hose squirting water. I don't think this is coming from a pipe, though it could be. But it's weird the way it is. You know, if it was a pipe, you'd only see like one one line coming up, not two. You understand what I'm saying? Unless it's the width of a pipe and it's coming out the sides, but then that's like two holes. I don't know. Really weird. Very weird. Put painting on that wall and no one will press it. Yeah, Babu might have my solution. I'll hang a big... <laughs> Hang a big wall painting right there. <laughs> I, I gotta consult with the missus because we we want to get this done, you know. And then if I if I rip it out, it's starting all over again and whole new wall. And then it's like, oh my god, this is gonna go on forever. But of course, I could rip it out and realize that's where the water's coming from. <laughs> rip that wall and realize the water's coming from there all the way over here. Because previously, previously, here's what happened previously. Right above here, oh man, it's cold out here. I'm gonna turn on some light. Um, previously, this spot right here, this is the, the patio, the front patio, the porch. It was leaking water, but I don't know if you can see all the silicon up there. See all that? That's dried silicon. Um, what happened was it was leaking water down here right outside the front door. It was like dripping water down and making this spot right here all wet, okay? So I, I climbed up to the, the roof of the house and I put silicon all along the edge here to fix the leak, to stop the, the seam where it connected. But um, doing that would have, of course, made the water reroute itself. So by plugging the hole where the water used to go, I moved where the water went and now I have new leak spots, potentially. That could be the cause. The question is, where is the water coming from? This is really bad. I wonder if they have some kind of detector that you you, know, you point it at a wall or something and it tells you there's water there, moisture. I know they have it for heat where you can look and see where heat is coming from. But I don't know if they have one where you point, you know, it's like an infrared gun or something, camera. You point it at the wall or the floor and it tells you, hey, there's water under there. <laughs> I don't know. So, Babu's suggestion. Maybe if you see a big painting here, <laughs> that's what it's about. Chosen One Oregon says, Hey, you know, I can't believe I finally caught you live. I usually miss you by just a couple of minutes. Yeah, good to see you on here and glad you caught me. <laughs> Maybe you can help me fix this problem. <laughs> help me, help me, help me here. And 54 Shadow says, Denoy is going to have a BYOB party. Bring your own brush paint party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help me finish this thing. I, I still haven't figured out what we're going to do here. We're probably going to have to custom build stuff. Because, you know, every kitchen, it's, it's like it's its own size. So you, you have to kind of build stuff to fit or, or make fittings that make pre-existing fit. And I'm looking at this right here, and I'm like, if I buy brand new cabinets and I have to chop them all up to get that pipe to run through, I'm ruining brand new cabinets. It would be easier to just maybe, maybe buy the countertop, you know, because that would be waterproof, hopefully, and then build the bottom portion because that can be built to size. Whereas if I buy a pre-built, I, I went to look at Home Depot. They have, like, the main unit, which is the, kitchen, the, the sink unit. Then you'd have to put two side cabinets, but they don't go all the way across. You'd have to put in pieces to make it, you know, so it closes out. But not only that, because the cabinets come in sink, you know, they, they have side walls. I'd have to punch holes in the side walls to allow that pipe to run through. So I'm ruining some of the cabinets. Have to have to consult with the, the boss on this and figure it out. But that's what we're doing right now. Um, I'm going to probably try to finish up painting. I've been taking the, the little brush and trying to hit like the, the little edges. 
it's gonna take uh, several coats to to get the the ceiling kind of nice looking. You know, not it's not gonna be super perfect, but good enough. And um, and then maybe do the walls. But now we have another major problem that needs to be dealt with. Hmm. Hello, Jammin' with Yammin. Or Yarn. Yammin. <laughs> Jammin' with Yarn. Good to see you. And just me. Nice to see you. Okay, Roke. Okay, Roke says, ah, nice day, huh? Well, it was until um, I noticed a floor leak. But that's a good thing to notice rather than, you know, you, you just go about your merry way and continue and you think you're all done. And then the floor leaks after you're done. So it's good to spot it now before we lay. Had we laid the floor down, I wouldn't have known this. Not until we were sitting here. This is the dining area, right? We're sitting here and the floor breaks through. <laughs> that's like the worst way to find out that there, there was a leak. You know, because we're going to be putting um, the vinyl. And if you had the vinyl over the wet wood, I don't think you would notice. You wouldn't notice the wet spot. So, you know, this is, this is good. I mean, you can look at it and say, this sucks that this happened. But it's actually good to find out right now before I lay the floor. And you know, four shadows says, all in all, you've done an amazing job so far. No kidding. Uh, I look at it and I'm like, man, I can't believe how bad this place was. And um, you know, I once again I, I watched the uh, the original video. Remember when I walked through that door, how bad it was? It's like you could barely open the door to come in, and you couldn't even see anything because all the windows were closed. They had um, that whole wall right there. They had a board blocking all three windows, and um, all the windows were screwed shut so that you know. There was no ventilation at all in here. And it was all musky and there was spider webs. Right here, there was like huge spider webs, cobwebs all over. Remember that? It looked like a curtain. And um, everywhere there was just trash. There was dog poop, dog food, bags, um, beer cans, cigarette butts. Um, it was just so bad. And you couldn't even see the floor. And it turned out there was like um, carpeting. What I thought was going to be just the, the floor and then the wood underneath. You ripped up the carpeting and then there was uh, linoleum. And some of it had tiles. So that's why you see the, the little paper here. So it had the, the floor actually had um, linoleum or tiles. Then it had, um, on top of that, it had the carpeting. And on top of that, it had the poop. <laughs> So, you know, now, now I'm like, well, we're down to bare wood so I can see, but then it makes me question, what about the rest of this? It's like, you say, well, we fix this, you fix this, and then what about all this other spot that we can't see through the floor because there's linoleum? I wonder if there's water leaking through here too. You know, I don't know. I do know this is, this is going to give me um, a headache until I can figure it out, figure out some kind of solution. Because then one uh, says, I would love to come and help you if I was in Florida. Well, thank you for the gesture. That's very kind of you. But I, I think we're going to be okay. I think I just need to um, close this part out. At least I, at, as far as I know, I can paint the, uh, finish the ceiling here in the next couple of days and the walls. Not all of it, but most of it. So I can try to close this part out. And then my next thing is to um, crawl. Well, I got to deal with the toilet. Toilet, by the way, is working, and so is the shower. So whatever was stopped up went down. But I'm going to go ahead and fix that, that joint outside where the connection is, you know, in the pipe, just because the, they had bags holding it in place. So I, I bought a, a T connector. Well, not a T connector, but, um, you know, it's a connector to connect two pipes. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in and see if that makes it a little bit better and maybe hopefully fix if that's where the problem actually was. I'm not even 100% sure. I just know that it went down. So we're at least moving along. This is this is a setback. I don't know how long a setback it is, but it is a, a pretty big setback with water. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate all of you who are uh, giving the videos a thumbs up and um, for making the comments that you do, good or bad. 
or thumbs down. It doesn't even matter. So as there's interaction, um, I noticed that uh, since I've been asking people to do that, the channel's been getting um, more, slightly more views again. Views are going back up, as well as um, subscribers. So I guess YouTube might be promoting it more now that you know more people are, are participating. So I appreciate all of you for doing that. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I will update you as soon as um, there's something to update. <laughs> So until next time, everyone, take care. God bless you all. Please stay safe. Vegan athlete, good to see you on here. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye now.